Welcome back to Good Day. This is the season of giving and the most profound gift for giver and recipient is something personal and from the heart. You can be that giver and it won't cost you a penny, just a little bit of your time, maybe an hour. Kara Steele joins us this morning with how you can make that happen. Good morning. Thanks Good for being morning. here today. Thanks for having me back. Absolutely. Normally you're here for, um, we're talking about life connection and yeah. giving the gift of life and this is sort of goes hand in hand with that but uh, we're asking people to donate blood on Friday. We are yes the fourth annual Harvey J. Steele Memorial Blood Drive is coming up on Friday from 10 to 4 at Mommy United Methodist Church especially during the holidays the need for blood is it's, it's huge and every two seconds someone is in need of blood donation so it's something that is a huge need in our community and like you said you know it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of love, but that's it. And this is something you've done about four years now, and your father passed away about six years yes. ago. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about, though, why this is so meaningful and why this is something that you wanted to make sure that you did. Yeah, I think a lot of times when I'm here, I'm talking about my father and his life-saving liver transplant, which is something that I will forever be grateful for, but without the generosity of blood donors as well, because he needed a lot of blood during that surgery. He had a couple other conditions throughout his life where he was able to utilize blood and blood byproducts mm -hmm. thanks to those generous donors he wouldn't have been here without that so it's something that again I'm forever grateful for and I think this is just like a really small way for me to try to give back for the supply that he used when he was here <laughs> because he definitely did you know and w blood has a shelf life you know it's not like you, we, we can get a bunch and save it stockpile right. it for later you know it only lasts it's only good for so long so that's why this needs to be continuous and we need to do drives on a regular basis. You mentioned this time of year is kind of tough. Yeah, the American know? Red Cross always says around the holidays is just really hard mm -hmm. and I think it could be, you know, people get so busy and schedules fill up and totally understandable, but kind of taking a step back and thinking, you know, there are a lot of people who'd love to spend more holidays with their families and may not get that chance without that blood donation. So it's something that's extremely important. Tomorrow is Giving Tuesday, so, you know, in that thinking, you know, and we're still Still, Thanksgiving is not too far behind us mm -hmm. at this point, so something great to do on Friday. How can people go about getting involved? Do they show up? Do they register? How does that work? Walk-ins are welcome, but just so we can make an efficient use of your very busy time, I would suggest a pre-registering, so you can do that at redcrossblood.org. If you go into the little sponsor code section right at the top of the page and type in Harvey, H-A-R-V-E-Y, it'll take you right to this particular blood drive, which again is this Friday. 10 to 4, Mommy United Methodist Church. So you've done this before, I imagine. Yeah. Donate blood. Talk a little bit about the process for people who maybe at home haven't done it before. Sure. They want to do it. They hear Harvey J. Steele. I loved <laughs> Harvey. You know, I heard him on the radio. You know, walk them through the process a little bit about what it's like. Yeah, and I will say the f before the first time I gave blood, I was really nervous. <laughs> and I'm one of those people, too. I My veins can be a little difficult Same. for, you know, when I mm -hmm. get blood work done. Sometimes they have to get a little creative. So mm -hmm. I was like, am I even really going to be able to do this, but I wanted to try, mm -hmm. and I was able to. Uh, it truly, I mean, it's just, you know, a quick check-in process, and they get you on the table. You can just relax, you know, put your feet up, just hang out, squeeze a little stress ball, and it's it really is, it only takes a few minutes, mm -hmm. and then afterwards, you get the snacks. I know, Amanda, you love the snacks when we're here the for snacks. the sit-in, so mm -hmm. just saying, plenty yep. of snacks, <laughs> there's going to be some good cookies, um, and again, the warm feeling in your heart, right, just knowing that you are helping people and helping people like like my dad again mm -hmm. without organ donation and blood donation I would have lost him 20 years earlier so it, it's an amazing gift that someone can give especially around the holidays and you might think I want to do something for my community I want to give back I don't have a lot of money you know I don't have those means but this is something that is free for you to just get a ride there or exactly. whatever, you know, find find a way there. But you can, this is something big that you can do that won't cost you anything but your time. Exactly. It definitely costs nothing and, and means everything to <laughs> so many people, especially here in our community. And again, just, just kind of seeing my dad and his journey and how sick he was and he definitely wouldn't have made it through without the generosity of organ and blood donors. So it's something that I'm really passionate about and I'm glad that the American Red Cross 
Cross actually approached me a few years ago and said, hey, we want to do this in memory of, of your dad. And then thankfully all the, you know, Cumulus radio stations hopped on board to help us. And so it's a, a Cumulus, a Life Connection, and an American Red Cross. And, you know, we're always grateful for WTOL for helping us support and promote such an awesome thing. Great partnerships happening here in our community. And we know that the need is great. So um, if this is something that you want to do, you want to say yes, I definitely will, or you're on the fence, go to the website and get some more information um, to clear everything up for you. But in the meantime, get online and register yourself. And it's happening Friday from 10 to 4 there at the Mommy United Methodist Church, right? Yes, so it is. So make some plans to do that, to give back this holiday season come Friday. Kara, thank you so much. Thank you here. so much. Appreciate it.